Adventure motorcycling is taking off in a big way in the Indian market and we have with us the latest adventure motorcycle to come into the Indian market. Now this one is from an Italian motorcycle manufacturer and the Italians as they say, well they know how to do automobiles properly and this one by the looks of it and by the specs of it does look very good indeed. Hello welcome Grand Spark, I'm Steve Neal and this motorcycle right here is a Motomorini XKF 650X. Now this is a top spec off-road ready model as you can see it's got all the bells and whistles that you would want on it it's got everything right on paper but on tarmac and well off it is it good enough well we're all set to find out as we go and ride this motorcycle and you will find out along with us so let's get riding and we're back and as you can see well we are dirty and so is the motorcycle and that simply means we have had lots of fun. Yes, that's right, we took this motorcycle off-road and well, we did quite a few things with it. We had quite a lot of fun and before we get to the fun aspect of riding the motorcycle, let's talk about the motorcycle for a bit, what it is and what it comes with, etc, etc. So let's start off with the looks. Now, this is a motorcycle that looks like a proper adventure motorcycle. Now, in the 650cc segment, there aren't as many motorcycles that look this great when it comes to being an adventure motorcycle now this has the looks of an adventure motorcycle starting off with this fairing right here and the huge tall windscreen and then this split headlamp setup leds of course this motorcycle looks very very similar to the dakar going motorcycles now that is a huge compliment indeed and then of course adding to it all are these spoke wheels now as i mentioned already there is another variant that doesn't get spoke wheels you do get alloy wheels also but it's a proper adv isn't it a proper adv needs proper spoke wheels and well these get them and these are the proper real deal spoke wheels because they are tubeless and that simply means you can slap on any tire you want onto them and in this case well with the motorcycle you get pirelli scorpion rally tires and it really doesn't get better than that when it comes to off-road tires so in terms of the looks well it definitely has a thumbs up especially that exhaust now we'll get to the sound a bit later but apart from sounding great well that exhaust also looks great it kind of blends well with the motorcycle it doesn't really stand out or stick out and that is something that we like the motomorini xkf 650 is powered by a 649 cc parallel twin engine and that is right here right now it's covered in muck and slush but this engine is kind of a masterpiece and i'll tell you just why and for this we have to dig deep into the roots of this engine you see in this motorcycle it has come down from a cf moto and the cf moto engine was actually derived from kawasaki and kawasaki's range of 650 cc motorcycles so in essence well it does trace its roots back to kawasaki and well that engine is a masterpiece and has seen lots of usage lots of tested usage and it has been tried and tested in lots of different conditions so that engine is just brilliant Now in terms of specifications, this parallel twin engine puts out around 60 bhp at 8250 rpm and 54 nm at 7000 rpm and what that means is, well on paper at least, the bottom end isn't that great uh, but well in reality things do change and that is why we always suggest you do not ride spec sheets, you always ride motorcycles and this motorcycle has once again proved just that. Now this engine even though it doesn't seem like the bottom end is that great well in fact from 2000 rpm onwards it can pull in any gear irrespective of what speed you're at uh, for example in 6 gear 2000 rpm it pulls clean and well it does 140 150 easily and that makes it a great tourer well that touring capability combined with this adventure frame well you could go exploring continents on this motorcycle so that engine gets a big thumbs up from us as well and then let's take a look at the whole motorcycle now look at the cycle parts for example the italians do know how to do it properly and despite motomorini being owned by a chinese company the x cape well it does show 
some Italian blood. For example, well, in terms of the equipment you get with the motorcycle, this motorcycle is spec'd very well indeed. Up front, you've got Mazzocchi upside down shocks. Well, they are fully adjustable, and at the rear, you've got adjustability for preload. Now, in terms of the brakes, you get Brembo equipment front and rear, and these brakes they're simply excellent. They stop the motorcycle on a dime, and well, these brakes also get a huge thumbs up from us because this motorcycle, the way it's been set up. It's really, really likable. Now let's talk about some things that weren't so great about this engine and this whole setup because this engine is not wipe free. Uh, there are quite a bit of vibrations at all RPM levels and that does creep in, especially when you compare it to its sibling, which is the Scrambler 650. Now we have ridden that motorcycle also off-road and on-road and that motorcycle is so much more smoother than the Xscape. So in terms of smoothness, well, it does lose out a bit. Now there's yet another space where it does lose out a bit and that is heat dissipation. Now this is a liquid cool engine of course and well that simply means it's got a huge radiator etc etc. The radiator does do its job but you can see the fan coming on more often especially in sunny conditions like these and when you go off road well the fan almost never really turns off because the engine becomes really hot and that hot air is spewed onto your legs and well in this heat with that heat well you do feel really hot if you're okay with that well this motorcycle doesn't really have any other issues with it now let's talk about the equipment you get in terms of the electronic features now you get a huge lcd instrument cluster it's a seven inch screen and well the colors are really nice on it and the graphics well they change according to the mode yes you get two modes in it you get ride and you get off-road that's it and well Toggling through the modes can be a little complicated because you have to navigate to the mode section and then you have to change the ride mode. But once you change it, well, you see the bar graph on the screen going from a bar graph to a proper knobby tire that is used on off-road motorcycles, off-road race motorcycles. And that is something that we really like. So on the whole, well, it's a great motorcycle with lots of equipment, lots of electronics, etc. And well, it does seem to be a very good proposition. So that is the Moto Morini Xscape. 650 for you do not say escape because it isn't it is escape and well this motorcycle can be used to escape from reality and on that note it is time for us to sign off as i said this was a brief ride we didn't ride the motorcycle for a really long time we didn't live with this motorcycle so we would be looking forward to getting our hands on it for a few days at a stretch and well that will tell us what this motorcycle really is to live with and uh, well that's it from us for now. Thank you so much for watching. This is Stephen Neal signing off for Drive Spark. And well, if you like this motorcycle, do let us know in the comments below. If you didn't, also do let us know in the comments below. This is me signing off. Stay safe and ride safe.